I'm Grace Stores, editor of Movement, and we're here at Move 2023 today. I'm joined by Henry Moisenak, CEO of DOT. How's your Move 2023 experience been so far, Henry? I was on a panel today. It's great to see the attendance so much busier. I remember our first move, when was that, 2019, and people had so many doubts. And they, I can clearly see the optimism is back now. It's also interesting to see there are a lot more city stakeholders. You, there's a lot of discussions around the integration of cities and operators and services. So it, I think it's looking great. Great, I'm glad to hear it. And you recently helped put together a report detailing micro-mobility industry best practice. Can you tell me a bit about your contributions to this and the purpose behind it? Yeah, sure. So we teamed up with other operators and some city stakeholders to provide a set of recommendations on how to best deploy micro-mobility services in cities. There's a lot of discussions, a lot of cities are comparing each other. We thought we would all put it together in one document. There's really 10 recommendations. Half of them are about city stakeholders, what do you do around bike lanes, number of operators, fleet, parking rules, all that type of things. And the other half is about how do you see micromobility from a rider experience? What's the ride speed? What do you do with parking, payments, uh, all these things, how you should play within the city. So we're trying to level up the industry so we have a good experience. Because if we don't have a good experience that works for everyone, the cities, the operators and the consumer, it just fails. Great. And what do you think about the future holds for micromobility? And do you think the trend in use will only continue to grow? And what do you think will influence this trend? Uh, look, look at people. They want to enjoy life fully. They want to be to have opportunities to go see their friends, to go to work. They want to move. You know, there's so much energy out there, and I think we are creating opportunities to to be there. At Dot, our, our mission is to serve every trip that is not walking or public transit. We are going at one city at a time, one mode at a time, and always trying to unlock these opportunities for people. And this, this is really where the future is going. I'm quite excited about it. So you think micromobility will only continue to grow? Yes, micromobility, whether it's private or shared, you see less and less ownership of personal cars, more and more public transit, more and more private ownership of small electric vehicles, and more and more shared services. The world is changing, and we're part of that. Great, I love your optimism. And lastly, everyone is making a move pledge this year about a promised pledge towards a more sustainable future in mobility and how their company is going to go about achieving this pledge. What is yours? So my personal pledge, and I've been fighting very, very hard uh, for this, is that when everybody's deploying fancy new hardware, at DOT we're trying to make the hardware of DOT last as long as possible. Uh, the, the, the fleet we had in 2019 and 2020 is still operating. We're spending a lot of energy to refurbish it, clean it. We go down even to the smallest bearings inside and we are putting it back on the street. We are up, we are the, the main city where we're doing this right now is Lyon. We're in process of doing 2,000 scooters. These, these scooters have had already some, on average something like 10,000 kilometers. We're, we're cleaning up, refurbishing them so we can do another 10,000 kilometers. And we show that these vehicles can last for seven or eight years. Great. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Henry, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day to at MOVE. Thank you very much for your time.